38 years before Kellyanne Conway got the title of Trump campaign manager, Susan Estrich became the first woman in a major party presidential campaign to get the title campaign manager. And unlike Kellyanne Conway, she actually was the campaign manager of Michael Dukakis' 1988 Democratic presidential campaign. Susan Estrich ran an honorable campaign for an honorable candidate. Now she is doing something else. She is running the campaign to keep Roger Ailes out of jail. She is one of the lawyers representing Roger Ailes, who was fired from Fox News because Gretchen Carlson sued him for sexual harassment and won a quick settlement from Fox News of $20 million. Susan Estrich called Gretchen Carlson's accusations baseless. Fox News is now being investigated by the Justice Department for possible criminal violations in disguising millions of dollars in settlement payments in sexual harassment cases against Roger Ailes and Bill O'Reilly. Susan Estrich's job now is to say things that she cannot prove about women who make sexual harassment claims against Roger Ailes. She uses words like hogwash to describe those claims, even though she wasn't in the room when these incidents occurred. She could reasonably provide public statements made by Roger Ailes himself denying the charges, but Susan Estrich goes way beyond that. She claims personal knowledge that she does not have, that the charges are untrue. When Megyn Kelly said that she was harassed by Roger Ailes, Susan Estrich said, Roger Ailes has never sexually harassed Megyn Kelly. Susan Estrich does not know that. Mark Fabiani, a former Clinton White House lawyer, is now one of the lawyers defending Bill O'Reilly against his many accusers, another proof that sooner or later most political operatives are for sale. Wendy Walsh told her story of harassment by Bill O'Reilly to the New York Times on Sunday because she has not sued Bill O'Reilly and therefore has not signed a settlement agreement for millions of dollars that prevents her from speaking about O'Reilly. Today, another O'Reilly lawyer tried to shut her up. Attorney Frederick Newman threatened to sue Wendy Walsh for, quote, defamation of Mr. O'Reilly's character, end quote, as if Mr. O'Reilly had not already defamed his character enough on television, as if Mr. O'Reilly had never been accused of brutality by his wife in divorce proceedings. Let's send O'Reilly's lawyer a message about what the jury pool might look like if he ever wants to put Bill O'Reilly's character on trial. I'm going to send a tweet right now, ready to go, that I'd like you all to retweet so that O'Reilly gets the message. It's going to say, hey, O'Reilly, please, please sue me too, because I believe Wendy Walsh. Retweet this if you agree. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.